Hello friends. Today we will discuss about the topic, discounting in stock marketing. So let's start. The stock market is considered to be a discounting mechanism. That is, participants are always looking forward and prices are always adjusting according to the anticipation of future events. These events may range from actions of specific companies and or their industries to aspects of the economy on a national or world scale. The market generally discounts activity six months in advance. If the economy is expected to improve nine months from now, the prices of stock would be expected to improve in, approximately, three months. Popular stock market adage, buy on the rumor, sell on the news. That is, buy the stock months before the particular event because the market is discounting the anticipated event well in advance of the outcome. Novice investors are often perplexed by a declining stock price after the release of a good earnings report. Once the anticipated event is priced in, the stock often retreats. Warning. The stock market is never black and white, it always comes in varying shades of gray. No rule or adage can ever be applied consistently. Even veteran professionals are often fooled. Now we will discuss introduction. Introduction. Discounting is the process of calculating the present value of future cash flow receipts. Discounting takes into account the time value of money. A sum of money is worth more today than it is worth tomorrow. Understanding Discounting. Discounting helps in pricing issues based on the future financial prospects of a company. In the case of bonds, the present market price is determined by discounting the future interest payments. The discounting factor is applied to determine today's price of future cash flow receipts. Factors to consider. 1. An asset or investment has value only if it can produce future cash flows. Equity investments or stocks yield dividends or capital appreciation. Bondholders receive interest annually. Investments in projects or business expansion yield future cash flows. 2. The process of discounting involves the use of a discount factor based on time and interest rate. 3. Risky investments carry a higher discounting rate. In other words, a high discount rate indicates a higher level of risk in the investment. In a capital asset pricing model, the high level of risk is represented by a beta translating to a higher discount and a low present value of the security. 4. The discount rate would be the rate or the cost of procuring the funds to finance the future cash flows. 5. Discounting is the primary factor used to price future cash flows of an enterprise. 6. In the case of a company, future earnings are discounted at the cost of capital. 7. The difference between the future value and present value is determined by discounting the future value to the present. For example, a bond of face value 10,000 rupees issued at a 10% discount today at 9,000 rupees. An investor who purchases the bond today will redeem the same face value at the end of the tenure. A discounting mechanism operates on the premise that the stock market essentially discounts, or takes into consideration, all available information including present and potential future events. When unexpected developments occur, the market discounts this new information very rapidly. The efficient market hypothesis, EMH, is based on the hypothesis that the stock market is a very efficient discounting mechanism. Key takeaways. Discounting mechanisms rely on the premise that the stock market essentially discounts all available information including present and potential future events. The efficient market hypothesis is based on the hypothesis that the stock market is a very efficient discounting mechanism. The principle suggests that the stock market generally moves in the same direction as the economy. Compete risk-free with $100,000 in virtual cash. Put your trading skills to the test with our free stock simulator. Compete with thousands of Investopedia traders and trade your way to the top. Submit trades in a virtual environment before you start risking your own money. Practice trading strategies so that when you're ready to enter the real market, you've had the practice you need. So that was our today topic that we discussed. Be connected to our channel for more informative videos. Thanks for watching.